In between this time, I've had the privilege to speak with you, and the last time, which was in September of 2009. Um, somehow or another, doesn't matter how, but I managed to activate a vibration of something I really didn't want. And it was enormous. Like, and I was like, well, is this the time I should stick my head in the sand and not look around? Because it really feels like that would be a good idea. And um, it'd be, you know, I'd be like driving to work and I'd go, well, there goes some evidence. It was just very, very difficult. And I kept making very powerful demands, you know, to the universe and just reminding myself, you know, all is well. I know the universe knows what I want. It has it figured out way better than I could even possibly imagine. And all of a sudden, everything would be like, oh, that's pretty. I like that. And I wouldn't see that enormous unwanted contrast. And then it would return and then it would kind of fade away and then just... I would do like some vibrational work, whatever you want to call it, play. And I would raise up and then kind of plateau and then dip down. And then I couldn't really go from despair or powerlessness past frustration. I would just stay in that little bank of thoughts. I couldn't get access to the next bank of thoughts. So let's just accept that through life experience that you and everyone else have been sort of sloppily vibrating all over the place so you have many points of attraction that please you and many points of attraction that don't please you but no real discipline in the way you offer vibration because you haven't really known about it you haven't really been putting it together that your emotions are telling you and you haven't been aware of this consistent source energy that you can always measure accurately against you've been measuring against how that one responds and how that one responds and how that one responds and they're all fickle and they want different things and they're all selfishly motivated and so you're upside down and all around through life as you're trying to please this one and this one and this one but now you're aware of this consistent vibration of this source within you and now you've got your feeling your finger on the pulse of whether you're in alignment or whether you're not and you're discovering in this new awareness that you've got a lot of active vibrations that don't resonate with who you really are mm -hmm. but through this process even though you're not hitting a home run every single time and finding alignment you are consciously we love what we are hearing from you recognizing that you know when you're in alignment and you know when you're not and you're feeling frustration that you're not able to control it better but the first and most important step is already taken place within you you can feel the difference you know when you're in alignment and you know when you're not now this seminar today the reason that we're directed in the way that we are is because you're not the only one that's feeling this way we're wanting to help you to shift into this awareness Awareness that once you have conscious knowledge of this vortex and once you have conscious recognition of your proximity to it now don't struggle in the thoughts that are holding you out or don't struggle in the life experience that's not giving you all of the things that you want this is the time to relax and let go because your knowledge of what's really going on in the vortex and your willingness to release any thought that feels awful is the answer Answer. you see most people think that the answer is take that negative situation and solve it take that negative problem and solve it take that negative thought and turn it into a positive thought that's sort of the, the the trend that most people are thinking and what we're wanting to say in such an emphatic way that we want to shout it is that that doesn't work the more you try the more counterproductive it is that's why it just got worse and worse and bigger and bigger till it felt like it was everywhere everywhere the answer is to let go and trust the process trust the vortex trust your well-being trust in the goodness of what you put there trust in the goodness of who you are do anything and everything you can to get that negative thought out of your mind distract 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 and then watch the power of the vortex demonstrate to you quickly the new ease that you found it will it is our promise to you it will you cannot have the intensity that we feel within you 
without putting all kinds of power into your vortex coupled with your understanding that your emotions are letting you know when you're off now if you can just hear this is the piece that we're giving to you when you feel that way don't try don't try to fix it that's not the time to fix it that's the last time to fix it it's the worst time to fix it when you feel like that don't try to fix it that's the time to say I'm not going to fix it. I'm not, this, is not, this is not the time. This is not the time. I'm going to go to the vortex and then. I'm going to go to the vortex and then. And if you can't figure out how to get to the vortex and you wouldn't be able to then, then just say, and I'll get in the vortex when I get in the vortex. In other words, it's really the I give up feeling that we want you to offer there. No more struggle. No more struggle because first, I don't have to struggle to succeed. I can't struggle and succeed. I don't have to try in order to accomplish. I've already accomplished. My work is done. Now it's time for me to claim the benefit of it. I'm, I'm going to chill. I'm going to let the universe show to me. I'm going to let the universe prove to me how good I am. <laughs>